International Monetary Fund has warned the government that their tax cuts would leave British consumers facing higher prices for the foreseeable future. In their latest economic assessment, they expect inflation to peak at about 11.3% in the UK before the end of the year. Now, this comes as the pound dropped in value to below $1.10. Now, that's after the Bank of England confirmed it wouldn't continue its emergency interventions in the financial markets beyond Friday of this week. Well, let's speak to trader and economic commentator David Bell, who joins us in the studio this morning. Um, really interesting to get your thoughts on all of this, because actually we knew that the intervention from the Bank of England was temporary, that it was going to draw to a close on Friday. So perhaps these comments shouldn't come as a huge surprise. And, and I suppose he had no other choice, really, than to, to warn pension funds. They need to get their house in order, because this can't be a sustained support package. Well, yeah, but about half an hour ago, um, it's come out in the FT that privately he's told bankers that it could be, uh, could be extended. So we're kind of in this limbo now where, you know, firstly, I don't think he should have said anything yesterday. He did it via unconventional uh, channels, which is something that the BOE talk about, conventional and unconventional channels. Um, and it made absolutely no sense for him to, to do that. I don't know if he was trying to shore up confidence or whatever, but, you know, they've reiterated over and over again that the 14th of October is when they will, you know, stop the facility. So it made no sense for him to send the markets into a bit of a tailspin. Mm. But yeah, half an hour ago, you know, there's not much details on it, but he's basically said, apparently, that um, it could be extended. Um, at this stage, you know, th what it looks like from my perspective is that the markets for so long have been addicted to liquidity, basically, addicted to low rates, addicted to the Bank of England, you know, doing QE, doing these special measures. Oh. Um, and they're throwing a tantrum because they've kind of calibrated themselves towards this low interest rate regime. Now, you know, the undoing of that is really sending them into a tailspin. Now, that's interesting because...